Accepting invitations with, yes, I'd love to, or thank you for inviting me. Hey there, English language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson in our series on basic vocabulary for greetings and introductions. In today's video, we will be focusing on accepting invitations using polite expressions. Specifically, we will explore two common ways to accept invitations, by saying, yes, I'd love to, and by expressing gratitude with, thank you for inviting me. So, let's dive right in. When someone extends an invitation to you, it's important to respond politely. One way to accept an invitation is by saying, yes, I'd love to. Let's take a look at some examples. Example 1. Person A. Would you like to join us for dinner tonight? Person B. Yes. I'd love to. Example 2. Person A. We're going to the movies this weekend. Do you want to come along? Person B. Yes. I'd love to. Using, yes, I'd love to, shows enthusiasm and a genuine interest in accepting the invitation. It's a warm and friendly way to respond and lets the person know that you are excited about joining them. Another polite way to accept an invitation is by expressing gratitude. You can do this by saying, thank you for inviting me. Let's look at some examples. Example 1. Person A. We're having a party on Saturday. Would you like to come? Person B. Thank you for inviting me. I would love to be there. Example 2. Person A. There's an art exhibition opening next week. Will you join us? Person B. Thank you for inviting me. I'd be happy to come. By responding with, thank you for inviting me, you acknowledge the person's invitation and express your appreciation for being included. It's a gracious way to accept the invitation and shows that you value their thoughtfulness. And there you have it. You've learned two polite ways to accept invitations in English. Whether you choose to respond with, yes, I'd love to, or thank you for inviting me. Both expressions convey your willingness to join the event or activity. Remember, Using polite expressions is essential when accepting invitations, as it shows respect and appreciation for the person extending the invitation. I hope you found this lesson helpful and that you'll practice using these expressions in your conversations. Keep up the great work, and soon you'll be confidently accepting invitations in English with ease. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.